Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 Let's Play, this time with episode 18. And we are here having just interacted with some magisters, and from the sounds of things and a quick look at our minimap, we have a few more to interact with. But, perhaps, oh, well, we've got some more ice. We need to get rid of the ice just to keep ourselves really from falling down on the job. And... Let's see, is that quite enough? Probably not. But maybe. Let's try and slip over here. Um, where? No, 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 no. What on earth? are you people doing? Sometimes the pathing is more mysterious than I would prefer. Looks like we could also use a bit of resting, but let's get Fane back up here. Maybe they didn't want to cross the ice. Okay, let's try this once more from the top with feeling. Well, now they're okay. Alright, so we've got a fight going on over here. But I don't want to walk in to this space and into these four red dots. So, let's bring Losa. Uh, well, let's come over here. Losa here. Sabeel. Teleport Fane. No, she's not. <gasps> Losa, no, no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> yep, step away for a little while and get rusty. Okay. No, no, no. Back up, back up. Okay. There. Now let's try that again. Well, first let's take a look at what Loza can see here. She's got everyone, absolutely everyone, fascinated with her right now. Which means she's probably going to go down before I can do anything about it. You gotta keep an eye on keeping everyone separate when you start to get creative. Okay. Fane can teleport, so we'll have Fane. Oh, and she ran off before her armor even came back after the fall. Awesome. Well, you know. Live or die and learn. Okay. Now, let's see. Well, at least we can get those two rested. Get checkers in range. Fane, Sabeel. Okay. Now, if we go back to Losa, we've got a Ranger, an Inquisitor. Oh, the Inquisitor is out of sight. Swordsman and another ranger. Oh boy, two rangers and Gareth. We were looking for Gareth who is shouldering his sword. Okay. We could still move the rest a 
of our friends, I believe. Let's find out if I'm right. Let's try and skirt this. See if we can get a better angle on anyone. Not really, at least not without entering a visible area. Hmm. Although... It looks like he could get down here. Maybe get a shot on that Inquisitor. Who is kind of right there. So we get checkers over here lining up for that. Oh, and discover a waypoint. And he does have a shot on the Inquisitor. Fane. We still get our high ground bonus over here as well. Actually, let's get Sabeel over here. Maybe we'll keep Fane with... Oh, I should have been more careful with Sabeel. Well... Hmm... I can use Fane's tactical retreat. Oh, that revealed Fane, did it? Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't think he was in... Anyway, here we are. Let's start off with... A ranger. Just kind of contemplating. Let's slow things down. As well. Okay, that's the Inquisitor. We've got a Swordsman. Well, that wasn't very nice. That's right, because Losa never got her armor back. Who knows how much she had to begin with. Not much, 11. Okay, Sabeel has no shot. I love how they can shoot to positions that we can't shoot back from. It is entirely opposite of the way it should be we should actually have more of an advantage than they do, just physically. It would be easier for Sabeel to lob an arrow in an arc over and hit this individual than it would be for this individual to try and lob an arrow up here. Anyway. Um... This is Gareth. Fine. Let's move Sabeel here. Fire on this ranger. Twice. Okay. And there's that twice. This is Fane, who does not have a shot and has used up his tactical retreat already, so let's pull him over here. At least he's hasted. Can he? Yes, yes he can. Okay, that's it for Fane. And of course we've got Checkers standing in the fire. Move him out of the fire, then I lose the ability to take two shots, and I think I might want to take two shots. So let's fire one. And two. 
Okay, one down. Checkers is up again. Where is that Inquisitor? Right there, huh? Oh, it's a real shame we can't tactically retreat to right there. But we can tactically retreat to right there. And then turn and fire. else we'd love to play with. Poison Flask, Water Balloon. What I'd really like to see is if I had an Oil Flask. Hmm. I don't think I do. Consumables. Miscellaneous? No. no. We've got a poison flask and a water balloon. Okay, so let's just go back to all, close this up, and yeah. Ooh. No way I'm reaching that far. Okay, so. Of course. First aid, Losa. Let Losa take one step forward. Teleport our dear friend, the Magister uh, Inquisitor, completely out of the fight. And Sabeel is up. Does have a shot on this ranger, but let's oil this guy up. Let's try and go for him and not Seville. Good. And fire. And hmm. Maybe pull her back a ways. Fane does have a shot on our swordsman. And just for fun, let's light him on fire. Burning is blocked, but the next round, I think it will apply. Okay, so... We can end Fane's turn. See what Gareth does. Okay, Checkers. Has a good clean shot at the Swordsman. Poison is resisted by magic armor, you say? Huh. Look at that, it's true. Well, in that case, this would probably be resisted by that as well. Yes, yes, it looks like that's true too. Okay, good, good. Oh, here's our Inquisitor trying to remember where she parked. Let's see, what about Losa? <laughs> Poor Losa. She's just not really getting the most out of her battle experience here. Let's try and get her someplace else. Maybe don't really want to put her in the range of this ranger, but we'll get her closer. So next round, maybe she can just walk into it. Here comes our swordsman. Ah. 
So Veal, what have you got? Well, among other things, teleportation. A poison arrow. Wow. She's still on about Losa. Alright, Fane, what have you got? No shot on this. Hmm. No. Fane is just not in a happy place. Okay, no, really. Why can't Fane smoke from something? Okay, well... In that case, he can't... Well, yeah, he can get rid of this guy, I think. There we go. And everybody levels up, which gives Losa a nice heal. Okay, ending turn. Oh yeah, Gareth is still here. Not bad, Gareth. Enough to certainly help us... make her experience more interesting. Here comes that Inquisitor, eventually. Oh, Losa actually has a shot. Hooray! There we go. And you know what? How about a little encouragement. That's it for that ranger, which means we only have that inquisitor, so let's delay. Oh, really, Gareth? That was your plan, huh? Well, okay, um... We're gonna meet out there. We can get Fane up here. Maybe even here and not quite get a shot. Well, we tried. She's got one turn left for tactical retreat, but we can. Let's get her as far as two AP will take her. And end turn. Checkers, let's delay. See where the Inquisitor goes. Uh huh. Oh, hi. Let's see. Physical armor. All right, well. Do it the old-fashioned way. Thonk. Nice. Oh, very nice shot, Fane. I bet that Inquisitor is really glad she has all that magic armor. Oh. Your courage in the face of danger is inspiring, my friend. Yes, it Lucian is. Lucian guided your blows rightly. Uh, all right. His eyes travel from your face to your feet, then back again. Hey, my eyes are up here, pal. You're no magister, judging from that collar around your neck. How'd you come to be here? Well... I'm a sorcerer, recently escaped from Fort Joy, and you are? Name's Gareth. I'm a seeker. I can give you shelter. And hope. Shelter? You mean the sanctuary over of Amadia? We've already been there. Ah, good. Then you know us. And you know we can help you. And perhaps you can help us. We'll be happy to help you, and happy to accept your help as well. Your words warm my heart, sorcerer. As well they should. 
His eyes scan the horizon and then settle on yours. A moment passes. I can't stay. You shouldn't either. What did Lucian say? Ah, yes. Evil feasts on the indolent. Get yourself to safety and soon. You'll always have a place at the Seeker's table. Alright. Well, thanks. Let's see what he's got for sale here. Some warfare, some geomancer too. Interesting. All right, but we don't really have the kind of money to just throw around right now. So we will say goodbye to Gareth. Oh, look, we get toys. Magical leather slacks. Some scale chest. Magic stone wand. No, no. I think we'll go for the pants. And accept. All right, then we can get everybody back in line. And of course, the best part. I must part, say, I was hoping to enjoy a smug advantage over everyone else. Uh huh. Lacking skin may make me a target for mortals, but I am mercifully immune to mosquitoes. You know that might be worth it. However, they are infuriating when they get in one skull. I can barely hear myself think. That would be a problem. Of course, the real problem is I wanted to loot the corpse, not talk to you, Fane. But thank you. Okay, a leg. Well, wow, Sabeel. Din Din. Your grip tightens around the blade's hilt. You never felt such rage. These freaks. They are tearing the world apart. They must not live. Rivalon must survive. Well. Okay, anyway. And a healing potion. Let's send that to Loza. Physical armor. Probably send that to her too. Okay, the ranger has nothing. And we've got another ranger over here with some fire essence and bits of a swordsman with a magister's sword and wooden targe. All right. As we can see, I don't know that we're strong enough to open these. Too heavy. Won't budge. We could travel here, but there is something rather interesting down through this door, provided everyone doesn't run by the Shrieker. Oh, good. All right, we will rest here, and we will pick up again next time and see what lies behind the iron door. For the moment though, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.